Hello folks, it's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Dark Side Detective. And when last we left off, we have here a key to the control room in the Dark Side train station. Which, as this is a supernatural and paranormal mirror of the Light Side world, will likely work on the door for the Light Side control room. The only problem is, we can't get it past the Light Side Detective. He's too observant. But I do know a way to get it to the light side without going past that detective. And that involves going here, past you. Hello, Dooley. Hey, how you doing? We solving a puzzle? We are solving a puzzle. We're going to head back to the platform, go over here, over to here, and into here, where there's you. Now, if we use the plunger on you, Right, you little sucker. Ha! Sucker! Tentacles. Very good. Ugh. I should be helping, shouldn't I? Flush! And... Down it goes! Note that we still have the plunger, because we're going to use the sucker on that tentacle to our advantage. I go back into here. Good thing that that ticket is useful for many boardings of the train. I suppose it's valid until the train sets off again. So we'll go back through the portal, over to here, into here, over to here, and now we're going to go and get the key. Who doesn't like having keys? I love having keys! Now, we're gonna go into here. There's my little wriggly buddy. So, this is where I sent you, eh? Indeed! Have the key. Hold on to this for me, will you, buddy? And now it's holding on to it. Having a good time with your key there, Dave? He is now called Dave, and now he's going back to the light side. When I plunge you, Dave, remember that I plunge you with love. I don't think that's how that works. But either way, we're going to go this way. We have done something because the game saved. Hey again. Still solving that puzzle? That we are. Let's pop back onto the eerie train. Board again. Over to here. And to here. Whereupon... We have the key. Thanks, Dave. Did you name Botanical Dave? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. Uh, who's to say that we were even... Let's just go before that uh, becomes an argument. Right, now we could use this on this. That seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. What? How'd you get in? Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it. They shouldn't have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. Told him he did. His black magic classes started at midnight and ran through. Morning ship save for old Tam. Heavy sleeper he is. Book him, Dooley. I uh, left my book at the station. Can he use these handcuffs instead? <sighs> and he's handcuffed. Let's look around. Get out of there, guy. I've seen what happens if you hang out for too long. What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. Nice rack. No keys on it, though. Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. It is certainly relevant. Looks like this place was the scene of some occultic goings-on. The cinnamon candles remind me of Christmas, though, which is nice. Oh, Tam always was fun at Christmas. Papa used to buy us all trains and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. You're not wrong. You are not wrong. Well, let's look at Engineer Tam, or rather talk to you. People will think twice about firing old Tam now. They'll think twice about hiring you, too. Wait, what? Yeah, you've kind of ruined your chances of everything. Line 1, power control system. Warning! Virus detected! That's never good. This is some bad hoodoo. Tam must have installed an occult virus on the controls that's causing all these problems. Well, let's get my disc. An old floppy disc popped out. This must be how the virus was installed. Could prove useful. Cursed disc! Three and a half inches of innuendo laden evil. Yes, indeed. Good use on you. Tam ain't ever gonna tell you how to fix that. It's his legacy. Fair enough. 
duty? Not sure that's the best course of action here. I could put it back. No point putting this back in unless I do something to it first. And I think I know what to do with it. Stay here, Dooley, and make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how is old Tam meant to escape? That's... that's the point. Oh, well that ain't fair. Don't worry, boss, I got this. I'm starting to wonder whether that was a good idea. Now I know somebody that can help me with that. And that's Raxa. Hello. Can I show this to you? My gut says no. Fair enough. Hello. Raxa, think you can make any sense of this? Let me see. Hmm. Oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for all that's going on. I could probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for. Thanks. So, what do I do? You need to clean the infection disk sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus. So each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infected sectors into clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus, you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide. That will involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I made a backup. Just hit reset if you need me to roll back so you can start again. Thanks. Okay, let's do this. Right, so it's lights out, basically. Let's see if we can do that. Um, that... Nearly there, because that's done that. Okay, I'm making it worse. I make it much worse. Okay. So that'll do that. That'll do that. Hmm. Okay. I need to get it so that we have either it in a corner. In a corner is probably the best place to put it. It's definitely the best place to put it. So we do that. Or, get it so that it's in the middle in a cross shape. Like that. Could just go around in a circle like that, but that's just going to leave me with that there. Now, if I can... Deal with these. Hmm. I'm going to spend longer than I want to doing this, aren't I? Probably. Getting close, though. Getting close, I think. Hmm. I've got it there. I need this. There. Hmm. Almost. Almost got it, but almost is not close enough. See, again, it's in that corner. Hmm. We start here. So do that. Hmm. I feel like... Do that. Right there. Nearly, because that just means we're back to where we were. Just trying to get it. Well, that's just awful, but we can do that then. Oh, there we go! Virus eliminated! Ha ha! Okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is a strong word when dabbling with the occult, but I think so, yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time. Really? Because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. Mm. Well, let's see if we can get those dealt with. Thanks to Raxa, this outdated disc should undo this technomancy mischief. I think you need this more than me. I know, I was just showing you how clean it is. Thanks. <laughs> Love that. Right, let's get out of here. And back onto here. Over here. And here. Hi, look what I did. 
What have you done? Old Tam's hours of code, gone, wasted, for nothing. Old Tam should have just spent the evening whittling. You probably should have. Have you actually properly read his rights? Oh yeah, I've read him his rights, sir. Uh, the right to remain standing there while I stare at him. The right to buy more cinnamon candles. That's not what I meant, Dooley. Uploading antivirus now. And off it goes! And there's our train. And everything's back to normal. Great work, Detective. You got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No. <sighs> Let's get this guy to ourselves. <laughs> how are you gonna get me there? Train ain't running. We just... We just talked about how that was fixed, weren't you listening? Plus, we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tam. No, no, it has not. Case closed. Now I get to read the uh, description here. Edit. He needed a lift because the spooky train was on the tracks. He did not call me about the spooky train, mind you. And you know what? We could go to police fast, but we're actually going to go to this bonus mission my heart, because this video is being uploaded in the festive season. So it's time to be festive. Christmas Eve is the perfect time for some last minute shopping, right? No, no it is not. My heart. Woo, Christmas Eve. Perfect for some last minute holiday shopping. <sighs> When I was a kid, holiday shopping meant buying new trunks for the beach. When you were a kid, something, something, oh, people, let's go see Santa! Aha, <laughs> Buzz is here! Also, this is the Twin Lakes Mall, there's the parking lot we can go to. First, we'll talk to Dooley. I hope Santa got my letter. You sent a letter, Dooley? Of course I did! What did you wish for? More Dooley. If there are two Dooleys, half the work? <sighs> I can't wait to watch movies and eat candy all day. <clears throat> Ed, help my mum with dinner. Now let's go over here. It's not time to go back to the car yet. Then let us move in. Halt, shoppers. What is the nature of your visit? Shopping. Shopping for last minute Christmas gifts, clearly. Hmm. Your story checks out. Just remember, I am the law around here, and my cameras cover 26% of this place. Not everything happens without my knowing about it. Yay. Ooh, decorations! They've really gone all out this year. I know! Much better than last year's lone light and cardboard tree. You can really smell the plastic off this one. Can I have one of those for Christmas? No way, mister. Last year you got a robot and forgot to take care of it. I ended up having to wash it for you. Hey, that's why it's short-circuited. Well, maybe you should have took better care of your robot, shouldn't you? I do love me some Christmas music. I know, buddy. You've been playing them in the car since Halloween. Yeah, you're right. I did leave it pretty late to start this year. Ugh. Ooh, a bin. Dooley, don't go in there. Oh, so now we're too good to search in bins all of a sudden? Ooh, an info point. Thank goodness there's a map. These places are huge. I always get lost. Dooley, the small is only 20 screens big. Spoilers? So, escalator. Suppose we're going that way. We could talk to you again, I guess. Warning. Do not do a crime, shoppers. A crime is for life, not just the holidays. Noted. Now, let's move. Ooh, that's a nice escalator effect there. Where to first, detective? Well, ground floor has the food court, fountain and arcade. Upstairs are the shops and the cinema. Grotto and Santa are over here! Come on, guys! I guess we keep going to the grotto for now. Time to talk to Buzz. Why is the grotto so far in? If it was here, we'd be there by now. Gah! That is true. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? You know it. Photo montage. Amazing photos. Door 
works. Right, let's move on. I could go this way, I suppose. That's not the way to Santa's Grotto. Ah, we're being railroaded. Fine. I wasn't hungry until this screen loaded. If Uncle Patrick stops for food, we'll never get to the grotto in time to see Santa. A free copy of Between Lake Times. Grab me a copy, will you? I want to read the sports results. <laughs> All right, what were the sports results? This week's sporting news. I see the Spider-Moth coach is blaming their losing streak on a hex. I should probably investigate that, actually. Nah, you don't need to. Hot dogs, burgers, turkey legs, it all sounds so delicious. I don't know what to order. News could ignore all that. We've got stew. What? It's a hearty winter treat. What flavor is it? Dunno. Can just said stew. Oh, just have a soda. Ain't got no soda. Only got stew. Fizzy stew. I didn't think it was possible, but I've lost my appetite. Agnes, what are you doing here? Our work's here when the camps is closed. The camp closes? I need to make a few phone calls. He'll be here any minute, right? No, Devon. No, he won't. Uh, that means... Christmas abandonment badges, yay! Wait, they have a badge for that? Oh, Dooley. You don't know Twin Lakes as well as you think you do. Need some eggnog, mate? We have all the varieties. Egg-flavored, nog-flavored, um, milk-flavored... Maybe. Milk, milky egg liquid. The taste of the holidays. Suppose we're going this way. Ned's gardening there. Ooh, fancy pan down. Wow! That is impressive. It goes as far as the eye can see. Dooley, it doesn't even touch the root. As far as the eye can see. They must have been growing this here in secret for ages. Or they brought it in through the skylight. Growing for the longest time. Ah, Dooley. My gifts better be as big as the ones under that tree, Uncle Patrick. They're almost as big as you are, Buzz. And... Free gifts! Our job here is done. Nope, they're empty. Out we go. You can't take them, Dooley. That's a crime. I don't care. Those decorations are pretty impressive, right, Dooley? That's nothing compared to the tree I'm decorating when I get home tonight. Wait, it's Christmas Eve and you don't have a tree up yet? I think you'll find I have seven up so far. But for tonight's tree, I'm pulling out all the stuffs. Why do you have seven trees? Well, one for every day of the week. I've never seen a B-Day with that much power before. Oh, buddy. We gotta go to Santa's Grotto! But, but thou must, McQueen! Alright then, fine. Hello, Santa's Grotto. Detective, don't lick that place. Why would I lick it? Well, it looks like gingerbread. Yeah, but just because it looks like gingerbread doesn't mean it's... You licked it, didn't you? It looks just like gingerbread. Oh, Dooley! Why are we wasting all this time standing around? There's a Santa in there that needs claws in! I'm gonna look at this place. It's all I hoped for and more! Let's go! We will go soon. Ooh, the arcade's over there. Welcome to Santa's Grotto where all your dreams come true. <sighs> I love that I went with that voice and the game just validated that decision. Roll on, quit no clock. Can we just move on? That's not the way to the plot! Alright, fine, we'll go in. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas, one and all! The jolly red meal ticket! Look at this fine trio of lads. I hope you've all been good this year. Good? We've been great. We need some city saving sized goodies and stockings this year, Santa. A city saver, eh? Yet you must be Detective McKing! Uh, I kid, I kid, I know who you are, Francis. I am Santa. I see all. I was just being a jerk for funsies. <sighs> Guys, Santa's got a busy schedule. Join the queue and wait your turn, yeah. Okay, Buzz, you heard the happy elf. Get in the queue and we'll go grab, grab gifts for you and your mom. Oh, are we okay to leave him here on his own? Detective, it's Twin Lakes at Christmas. What could possibly go wrong? 
a lot, Dooley. Did you see the name of the case? No. Oh, yeah. Well, we're leaving him anyway. Uncle of the Year here. Who? Where? Maybe I could get some tips, because I suspect I need them. And when we come back, folks, it's the festive episode! And nothing's gonna go horribly wrong. Oh, who are we kidding? Everything's gonna go horribly wrong. Also, we have Ear Muffled Kid, Nervous Kid, and Santa himself. And more gifts. We need those gifts. We also need to make sure that nothing terrible happens while we're here. Or at the very least, we need to make sure that we remedy whatever terrible happens in here. Something terrible's gonna happen. It's just a question of how occult it's gonna be. And we'll deal with that next time. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and leave a comment and subscribe if you're not. And if you are, press that bell for all the notifications. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.